Hey, what's going on fellow YouTubers? It's your boy Havoc here with a guide on how to make a YouTube channel. So I figured I'd make this video in hopes of encouraging anyone who's on the fence of starting YouTube. If you're further along on YouTube journey, I'll be posting a more advanced tutorial on how to get from zero to 100,000 subscribers when this video hits 150 likes. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go on to youtube.com and click on this sign in button right here and we'll just go ahead and create an account right here and just click for myself. Go ahead and enter in your first and last name. I'm not gonna enter in my full last name because I don't want anybody stalking me. <laughs> but uh, create a new Gmail address right here and then you can go ahead and enter in a new email, see if it's taken. Phone number and recovery email address are both optional so just go ahead and type in your birthday and then click I agree. So you're gonna wanna go up to the top right, right here where your icon is and just create a channel and then just go ahead and get started. So you can either use the original name on your Google account or you can create a custom name and you're gonna want to click on this custom name right here. And here we can create a channel name so I could basically type in the same channel name perhaps and click I understand, create. So you're just gonna wanna go back to your channel right here. So you can go up to customize channel. And now right here, you can actually upload a logo and a banner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and edit channel icon, click edit, and then upload a photo. Now I actually do have a tutorial on how to make a logo. So I'll be basically showing you guys how to make this. And now it's all updated. That's all cool. We can exit out of that, go back to our channel. And if we reload it, uh, now our logo's right there. Add channel art. So this is our banner. And I can select it right here and click open. And I also have a video on how to make a banner like this. So go check that out as well. And we can go ahead and select that and it'll save right here. So now we got our logo, our banner. You can actually feature other channels. So let's say you feature one YouTuber, they'll in turn typically feature you as well. So you just have to kind of get that arranged. So you can add a channel right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rename it to check these YouTubers out. Let's say we wanna check out my current channel. I can go to my current channel and here's the link right here. Just copy and then paste it right here and click add. And you can actually change the order of these if you click on that little grid icon and change them and then just click done. So hopefully they'll add your channel to their feature channels list as well. So let's say for instance, you make tutorials, you could say weekly tutorials designed to help you grow your YouTube channel. And I typically at the end right here, I say, hey, thanks for 87,000 subscribers. And then at the very end, I, I just say, hey, join the squad or whatever you might call your followers. You can add an email address. So for business inquiries, I guess sponsors in a later date will be able to email you. Um, I'm not going to enter that in. And then you could also type in your location. So I'll just go ahead and type in United States and we can also put in some links for social media. So I could type in twitter.com slash the havoc. And we can just type in Twitter. Click done. Now we got we got a Twitter link. So when you click on that, it goes to my actual Twitter profile right here. And I think you can add up to five links right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over and click the icon again and go into Creator Studio. It looks a little different now. And go ahead and click on settings down here at the bottom and click on upload defaults. I personally would put in my social media into the description because I want that on every single upload. It just saves a little bit of time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enter in my Instagram so you can just go ahead and type in Instagram and then type in your link. Another thing that I typically would add is a tag. So I typically always put in my channel name in every single one of my videos as a tag, just so that it increases the chance 
that if somebody's watching one of my videos, the next one or another video on my channel will get suggested to them because they have similar tags and not too many people have a tag of the Havoc. So it kind of stands out, I guess. Um, just go ahead and click save right here. And now we're gonna go ahead and click on this button right here, which is where we upload. So go ahead and upload a video and then select a file right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and upload my intro. So let's say hypothetically we're making a Fortnite video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type that in. Fortnite, let's say we're using a heavy sniper and we get 15 kills. So I could go ahead and type in Fortnite heavy sniper 15 kill game. You wanna make sure you focus on a certain keyword or key phrase and type that into your title, description, and your tags, all three of them. And we can also upload a thumbnail now, in order to get verified, you just have to have them text you a verification code. I also have a tutorial on that. Check that one out as well. And we can also add it to a playlist. So if you have no playlist available, you can go ahead and create one. Title this Fortnite Gameplays. And now we can add it. We can also add tags. So go to more options. And we can add some tags. So I would personally put in Definitely Fortnite, Fortnite gameplay, Fortnite heavy sniper, heavy sniper gameplay, 60 FPS gameplay. All of this is pretty self-explanatory. You can select all of this. This is all pretty easy. Depending on what your category is, this would be gaming. Technically, if it's a Fortnite video, if it's actually a, a game, you type it in. So Fortnite. You go ahead and click on that so that if somebody's actually searching for a game, it will maybe show up perhaps. And then just go ahead and click next. And here, um, you're just gonna want to make sure to set it as public. You can actually click schedule and have it scheduled to upload at a certain time, but I'm just gonna make it public for now. And then click publish. And there it is. You can actually share it uh, to some of your social media. So that's another benefit to having a Twitter and an Instagram is more traffic to that certain video when it's up. And typically the more views that you get from a video right then and there, it's easier for it to gain traction from you know watch page or from suggested views from YouTube, how to edit your channel layout. So I'm gonna go back to my channel right here and go to customize channel. And right here, we can actually feature content. So when somebody is returning one of your subscribers, this video will pop up before everything else. So you can actually feature a video. So I'm just gonna feature the only video I have up. And then also for new visitors, you'll have a channel. And we can actually add a section. So if you have a certain playlist that somebody might want to check out, like the one that we created, which is under created playlist right here and we can just click done so we can go ahead and click on any one of these videos and click on the details right here and if we scroll down a little bit we can actually add the end screen right here and if we move all the way over to our outro and as you can see i already have uh, end screens okay so i'm gonna go ahead and delete these as well um so that we can remake them so I just go up to this element, this plus button right here, click on the video, and we can either select the most recent upload, which is what I personally prefer, and we can actually drag that over our little outlines right here, and we can actually select different options. So we can select a specific video, which we can choose from whatever videos we have on our channel. Um, so we could, we could promote a certain video right here, and we can also select another element and we can select best for viewers. So if somebody is looking at an intro, perhaps they want to know how to make an outro. And you want to obviously make sure this starts when the outro starts and doesn't start before because uh, that would be weird. And like I said, so now we've got, if we go ahead and play this right now, we've got both these videos. So we got best for viewer. I don't know why that's not showing. I think it's just hidden because it changes from viewer to viewer and then you can just click save 
All right, and that wraps up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial and I hope to help you guys out. Remember, like I said before, once this video hits 150 likes, I will be uploading a more advanced tutorial where I'll be going over this analytics section right here. So be looking out for that. And uh, with that being said, it's been your boy Havoc here and I'm out. Peace.